being a unionist, it gives you um, the opportunity to pause and make sure that you're doing the right things at all times for all people involved. I can openly say I didn't get here by myself. I have my membership to thank for um, this, um, previous chapter leaders before and other um, leaders at the UFT office, but the one person that stands out the most, of course, is my uh, leader. Her name is Ann Goldman. What I like about Ann, what I admire about her, is that she has such insight to know different people's strengths and weaknesses, and she positions you in a way that stretches you. Boy, you get stretched. But you are stretched to where you have growth. You have growth not only as a unionist, but you have growth in your profession as well. Any chapter leader will tell you that this is often a very thankless type of a, um, a duty, but I will say that this, this award, this is a highlight. I'm honored. I'm honored to be acknowledged at this time. I'm honored uh, that NYSET would uh, bestow this wonderful award. I just don't know what to say, I'm over the moon. I do the orientation for the new employee hires for the Visiting Nurse Service of New York, and right at the get-go, I let the new members know what it's like to be in a union environment, meaning don't think of the union as something outside of yourself. Think of it as you are the union because you really are. And you're using your collective voice through collective action um, to, to uphold the, the rights of the contract and make our workplace the best it can be. And without the union behind us, I don't believe that we would get what we need to care for the patients in the way that we would like to. We have to stick with our union so that we have proper staffing, so that we have proper equipment, so that we have established guidelines for work hours, so that we can provide that care. We have to stick with our union so that we can make a living wage. That's important to us. We have to stick with our union because without the union, we'd be steamrolled.